In this problem, we have to solve this equation for m. So the goal is to use something called the square root property. So we'll start by trying to isolate the m squared term. So it's being multiplied by negative 2. So as a good first step, we'll divide both sides by negative 2. So we have m squared equals negative 25. So now we're in a position where we can use the square root property. The square root property just says if you have one side of an equation squared equal to a number, what you can do is just take the square root of both sides. And when you do that, when you take the square root and you have a variable squared, you drop the 2, you drop the square root, and then on the other side, you put a plus or minus. So plus or minus, and then the square root of 25 is 5, but we have the negative here. So that's going to give us an i. And so that would be the final answer. So again, when you take the square root of something squared like this with the variable, don't forget the plus or minus. Super, super important.